let us continue our Commander Draft Challenge series. And dear God, do we need a better booster than we got yesterday. That was absolutely abysmal. That was a master set as well. You know you could have paid, what, nine, ten pounds more? I think if I look it up to purchase now, it'd probably be about fifteen pounds. And yeah, there are there are some really expensive cards in there. I think Mana Drain, which if you get a flat foil, would be two hundred maybe. You get that? But oh dear God, that was. Yeah, if I if I'd have actually paid, well, I did pay money for it, but you know, if I'd have actually paid for that specifically for Iconic Masters, then that would have been absolutely the worst. We are going Born of the Gods. I've got to check something here briefly because. Where are we? Yeah, I do have Ravnica packs in here. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about this uh, a while back. We could do with those. Ravnica could actually save us a lot of problem, give us some actual mana around us in a decent color. Also, this this is just ugh, new stocking required. My play mats are ruined. My keyboard is ruined. <laughs> oh boy. Oh uh, well. Anyway, let's see if Born of the Gods, which is the second of the original Ferris block, I believe. I might be wrong. This might be the third, but we've got another booster in this block as well to come at some stage as well. So hopefully, some big creatures that care about um, similar mana things. So this might be a white booster if we. Continue on that plan. Let's, however, let's see what we get here. They're already advertising Journey to Nixon, these. 2014. So these are six year old cards at this point. We begin with the Satessan Starbreaker, which, when it enters the battlefield, destroy target aura. For four? Oh boy, we're just getting into all the bad boosts now, I'm just realizing. All right. Uh, War Chanter of Mogus, because there are Minotaurs in this set. Uh, when it becomes a tap target reach gains Intimidating Slime turn, creature of Intimidate can't be blocked except by basically artifact creatures or things that share a color of it. Also out. Culling Mark for three mana target creature blocks this. Oh dear god, this is going to be worse than Iconic Masters, isn't it? Ugh, okay. Um, for why that's so bad, it's just sorcery speed, you don't. You, I mean, yeah, you can get around the effect, but paying free for this is... Oh, jeez. I, I didn't ever draft this. I was never around. I wasn't playing Magic when Ferris came out, but... Oh, boy, this looks rough to draft at the moment. I don't even know what the good cards in this are. I mean, this is better, because it's an, it may be an aura, but at least it replaces itself when it enters the battlefield, and Intimidate is at least reasonable in a set that was devoted to sort of mono-color plans in a lot of ways with Devotion. When we get a devotion card, I'll explain it. This is an okay card. There we go. Finally got one that's at least I could skew myself playing it. Next Born Wolf. So this has the bestow mechanic. It's also an enchantment creature. So bestow basically means you can play it as an aura spell, which I guess marginally improves the success of Starbreaker, at least in terms of a limited environment with this set. Still. Um, so we can either play it on its own as a free mana free one, which isn't that great, or we can pay five mana and attach it to something and it gets plus three, plus one. And also, if, say, we've enchanted Animar with the next born wolf, and then Animar dies, the wolf drops off, and we still have a free one. So far, it's the best card we've opened. Um, in terms of this pack, anyway. Crypsis. Target creature you control gains protection from creatures your opponents control until the end of turn. Untap it. So, okay. That's reasonable. So we can either use it on the um, on our turn for an attack, or we can use it on defense to um, deal with a blocker. Protection means that the card takes no damage from things that it's protected from. It can't be targeted by things it's protected from. So, okay, reasonable-ish spell. We then have Sudden Storm. Tap up to two creatures. Those creatures don't have to in the next one. Tap step to scry one. Hey, we finally hit another scry card after all this time. Um, I still don't think this is good for the same reasons as I discussed the similar spell. I think we did take. I can't remember. Um, but it's no... It, it's no sleep. Next up. X... Exorate? Exorate. Exile target attack creature. I mean, it's good removal in white. But, yeah. Epiphany Storm. Uh, probably the... Well... No, I don't know. Enchanted Creature has red, discard a card, draw a card. It's not the worst Storm card I've ever seen, but um, 
Yeah. We then have Bolt of Keranos, which actually means we have Lightning. I mean, we prefer Bolt of Lightning, but hey, free damage target creature player, scry one. That is acceptable. I know it's a bit overcosted. It's also a sorcery. Uh, but it's removal, so we've got to consider it, I suppose. We have Stormcaller of Keranos, which is 2-2 two, two for 2 haste and with scry 1, which can become draw 1. Okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, we're okay with that. Acolyte's Reward. Uh, prevent my next X damage from Delta Tiger Creature this turn. When X is your devotion to white, probably not going to be relevant. Reap what is sown, which would be awesome if it wasn't in white. Put plus one, plus one counter on three creatures. Yeah, that's reasonable, just not doing a lot for us. And finally, we have the Fate Unraveler, which is one of my preferred cards from this set, but only for the Necrosar deck, which I love to build. So we can't really do anything with that. So, okay. The white cards aren't good enough, because I don't think if we're going into white, it's going to be a dual color with something, so Devotion's not the best mechanic for that. Okay, so we've got some options here, but I think this is a definite, because this is just scry on a stick, potentially card draw for two mana on a stick, and two mana, mana sync is probably a reasonable enough inclusion. It's also a creature, also it's haste. Fine. Um, I don't think we want Epiphany Storm, I don't think we really want Nyxborn Wolf either, so I might just take the Bolt to give us some form of ability to interact. And additional Scry is not a bad thing. Maybe I'll just take all the Scry cards here. I do like Crypsis as a sort of gotcha spell out of nowhere. Yeah, we're gonna take Crypsis. I'm not, that might not be the correct decision, but we're gonna do with that. So we focused a bit on red-blue this time, but hey. There we are. We're going to go with that. So, Born of the Gods, done. I'll see you next time where, you know, at some stage we've got to pull some Ravnica boosters. Until then.